Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Coding Paths, and what we like to talk about here are the different paths, the different ways that you can use to get started in a technical career, as well as the different paths that you can follow once you get here, uh, because there's a lot of different paths. And so today we're gonna do a little something different. We're gonna do a part two to a video I did just about a year ago, and we're gonna talk about technical apprenticeships. Let's get into it. All right, so first of all, what is an apprenticeship? What's a tech apprenticeship? Uh, for whatever reason, they are more popular in European countries than they are in the U.S., but that is changing here as of late. Again, a lot of this information I'm going to share with you, I put in a video last year around this time, and so I want to give an update. This is March 2021, but just like you see here, it's an opportunity for a person to sit under, maybe not a master per se, but a person who is more experienced in the field and give you more opportunities to learn while on the job and really to groom you to be successful in that position. And an interesting thing about tech apprenticeships, as we go through some of these, you're going to see that some of them actually focus and hone in on self-taught folks, people coming from non-traditional backgrounds, people who are going through boot camps, things of that nature. And that's really awesome because if you know anything about the internship model, the internship model is really geared toward a pipeline that's coming out of a bachelor's degree program in computer science, typically every now and then software engineering degree, but those are, those are kind of far and few between, but the apprenticeship, those are much more wide open. And so I'm opening up with this website here. Be sure to bookmark this. Something of an aggregator site. It does not have all the apprenticeships, but it does have a good number of them. Apprenticeships.me. And there's just a ton of different companies that engage in apprenticeships. This is a nice list to go in and do your research. That's what I'm going to say. Because again, right now I'm recording this mid-March 2021. Uh, most companies are still doing some sort of a hybrid model or a work from home or distributed workforce situation. And many of them have changed their models for their apprenticeships and their internships. So some of the information that you might find on here, if you check this pretty soon, is not exactly accurate, but it'll give you a good list to know who's engaged and you kind of can bookmark some of these and check them throughout the year. All right. So apprenticeships.me, that's where we're going to start. But I do want to focus in on this company and my timing is crazy. So as you see here, this is LinkedIn. LinkedIn has an amazing program. It's called LinkedIn Reach. Unfortunately, the um, the job posting closes at five o'clock today. This is the day I'm releasing it, March 19th. So hopefully if you see this and you're interested, maybe you can get your essays and your application together, give it a shot. But it is an amazing a program. Uh, they have three different roles you can go for. You can go for AI apprentice, back-end apprentice or SRE apprentice, um, site reliability engineering, hot topic right now. Um, really awesome program that's unique about LinkedIn is when you talk about an apprenticeship with LinkedIn, once you get in, you're not talking about a two, three month, you know, summer internship kind of thing, or even a six month. They have apprenticeships that go as long as it takes. So long as you're showing the progression that they're looking for, you can literally be in for one or two years in the apprenticeship program giving you an opportunity to learn, to actually grow in the job, to be very skilled in the specific technical details of that position and go on to be a full software engineer or whatever the position would be there at LinkedIn. Uh, they have multiple levels. They have one called an Apprentice Engineer 2, one called an Apprentice Engineer 3, and basically they're, they're looking to graduate you through these positions onto a full software engineer, as you see over here. So awesome program. Again, sorry about the timeliness, but again, if this is something that might be of interest to you, who, you know, different people watch this from different stages of life, maybe you're just beginning a boot camp or you're going to go to one in the summer. This will be something to bookmark for even next year to be ready for that. So LinkedIn Reach is the name of the program. Next one I want to talk about real quick is the Twitter Engineering Apprenticeship Program. Also very popular. I know you know what Twitter is. Check it out. As I was going through here, very impressed. They have an actual one-year program with full-time benefits. That is fantastic because, again, if you look at some of these internships, particularly in the ones that might be more local to you, may not be necessarily on the East Coast or in Silicon Valley, sometimes the internships are very low pay, uh, may or may not come with benefits. And so if you're an adult and you just graduated from XYZ Boot Camp, many of those just don't make sense for you to leave whatever you're doing. Even if it's not in tech gate, it doesn't make sense to go and have this huge drop in pay, lose insurance, that kind of thing. So nice, uh, really nice to see here that this is actually a one-year program, full-time benefits. Uh, they describe the interview process here. Um, they talk about some of the people who have gotten in the program. So really, really cool. Um, they're focused on diversity, tweep life as they call it. So check that out. I didn't exactly see the timeline, 
um, for that, but just check it out on your own. I'm just giving you the name of the companies, some of the ones that kind of jumped out to me. Love seeing this right here. Here's the kind of person that Twitter is looking for for this for this uh, apprenticeship. Graduates of boot camps, self-taught, veterans returning to the workforce, caregivers returning to the workforce, or just anybody making a career switch, right? You have a couple of years of experience, doesn't necessarily have to be technical, proficiency in at least one language. No, not 30 languages, one language. And you're interested in working in iOS background, uh, iOS platform, Android, web, or back end. Like, that's a very low barrier to entry right there. For all the things that we like to complain about, that is a low barrier. This is an active program. Check out the timing. Check it out uh, with Twitter. This one is really neat as well. Um, Airbnb also has an apprenticeship. They call it Connect. You know, all of them have a um, kind of a um, catchphrase. I know one from Microsoft is called Microsoft Leap. And the best place to check on Microsoft, and this is, has nothing to do with Airbnb, but the best place to check on Microsoft is on their LinkedIn page. It's a Microsoft Leap Apprenticeship Program. And when they release the application, because they have a series of cohorts throughout the year in Atlanta, in Seattle, I think the last one was in Kenya. But when they open the applications up, it typically is opened up and you will see it on LinkedIn first. So check that out. But right here on the screen, you see this is from um, Airbnb. They have one called the Connect Apprenticeship. You see the application is right here. Um, what is it? It's a six-month paid program to provide a pathway to entry-level software engineering roles, right? What kind of people are they looking for? Do they want Do they want the, the PhD student from MIT, right? Is that how you get to, uh, to the Airbnb apprenticeship program? No. You may be a program, this may be a program for you if you don't have a four-year computer science degree. That's me. Coding skills acquired through online courses, boot camp, community college. Yep, that's me. Uh, no prior or less than a year of professional experience, passionate about technology. These positions exist. Now, they're not hiring thousands and thousands of them, right? So let's just go ahead and put that out there. Let, don't let that you know, be the negative that stops you from applying. Well, there's probably going to be a lot of people, and so I won't. You don't know who's going to get selected, right? Go for the position. If this is the kind of thing uh, that fits your goals in life and it can kind of progress you in your technological path, go for it. Some of them are remote only during this period of uh, the pandemic and COVID. Some of them are remote permanently. Check them out. Do your research. But this is another option right here. Airbnb has these. And I'm not sure. Is that application? This application is open now. Now, I'm, again, I don't see any dates. I don't see any dates. But this one's open now, so check that out. Last but not least, this is not an apprenticeship, but it is an amazing program. I've read a lot about it. It actually became the program that was modeled at many other large tech, uh, tech universities. You're right. At many other large tech companies. So if you know the name Marissa Meyer, and she's famous for her time at Yahoo. But before that, she was famous for starting this program, the Google Associate Product Manager Program at Google. It is a, gosh, I think it's one and a half to two year program. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to waste time on that. But anyway, what kind of training? It is like a one and a half to two year program that puts you through a series of rotations and then prepares you to become a technical product manager there at Google. Um, so it has kind of the feel of an apprenticeship. It is highly competitive. I'm not going to hide that part. It is highly, highly competitive. But again, people come in from a variety of backgrounds. They're not all, you know, the latest graduate students from Stanford, Berkeley and Georgia Tech. Right. It's not just that list. There's a variety of people. They like people to come in with an entrepreneurial mindset, mindset, people who are technical, but also have some business background under their belts. So this would fit many of you. And again, in the APM program, there is um, I'm not going to say it's a training program, but there is a level of learning and a level of training beyond going right in as a PM right off the street. So they talk about the benefits here and an overview. Uh, this is apparently the guy that leads it, Brian Rakowski. So check that out. Uh, they talk about how to apply. All your FAQs are right here. So this is interesting. Again, not an apprenticeship, but in some ways kind of similar. And I think the rate, main reason I'm doing this video is a lot of people can end up in these companies if this is your desire, right? I'm not trying to pump these companies like they're the best thing since sliced bread. But if there is your desire, I think a lot of people can access these companies that actually believe it and know it. And I just wanted you to just remove whatever doubt, whatever barriers you have mentally, like I'm not that kind of person or I can never make it there. There are pathway, pathways, there are pipelines that are open to help you succeed in some of the most popular companies around. 
So hope this has been a benefit to you. You guys have a great day. Again, if you're interested in the one from uh, LinkedIn that closes today, March 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So yeah, fill that application out quickly. Outside of that, appreciate it. Talk to you later.